Josh fam. It we we're on road. We're in St. Louis. Dale Tanhart joins me. I'm Garage Guy. There's Chase Elliott's car. The Hooters Racing car is here, designed by uh, Lefty. Shout out no sweet. Um, it's a sweet day here in St. Louis. I'm having a good time. Are you facing, having a good time? Facing the eye of the sun right now. Staring Real hot, at it. Getting a little sweaty. Long mm. sleeve. It looks good. I'm feeling good. There's always going to be a little bit of adversity when you're in 85 degree weather, you know, and the hair certainly is like not advantageous to have during the summer. But as you said, this beautiful race car is advantageous for Chase Elliott to have on track this weekend at Worldwide Technology Raceway. We're more than excited. This is kind of tricky here because as we're talking, I'm going to check times here shortly, but practice is going on at the track. It's happening. So odds could shift a bit. Um, hopefully they'll repost before qualifying at 10 a.m. This video will be out before qualifying. I've got a couple poll picks that I like before qualifying tomorrow morning to go with a couple race picks as well. But we're at Hooters again. It's great to be back. We got the car. We got to start out with the Garage Guys promo code. Tell them Dine and Dell sent you. If you go sit down at any Hooters, you can save $10 on $40 orders or more. That's valid for food, non-alcoholic beverages, and merchandise just by telling your waitress about promo code garage guys it'll save you 10 bucks offer is redeemable at hoa locations and once again food non-alcoholic beverages and merchandise tell them dine and dell since you just tell your waitress promo code garage guys and she'll hook you up hey you can also use that promo code on the hooters app or on order.hooters.com if you like to get things to go because captain carryout likes things to go sometimes i want it here sometimes i want it at home on my couch sometimes you like to lay down and eat I don't know, but you can use promo code Garage Guys. You're going to save ten dollars off any thirty dollar order when you order off the Hooters app or from order.hooters.com. Offer valid at participating locations for delivery and carry out orders only. I always feel like it's the Pledge of Allegiance at this point. It, it really is. You know, it's funny out here. Like I said, it's hot. Uh, speaking of uh, hot, tempers flared back with the Hooters car last year at Bristol. You can't see it, but it's kind of funny. Hooters has a thing with Bush to have the cars out here. And Kevin Harvick's Kevin car, car is right here, right next to Chase Elliott's car. So for all the fans that remember that race, uh, kind of like a did we just become best friends thing from Step Brothers just with the Very cars. Very strange. If really he was funny. in this car last year, he was in the Night Owl last year, a great car. This car, a little bit sexier. I'm not going to lie. I like this car a lot better. If he was in this oh, car, yeah. it would have been game over. But you were talking about times, actually. I just pulled it up. I, noticed, I told uh, myself I'd wait a second, and yeah. I can't. And well, Blaney, he was 10th. He was 10th. Now he's P8. Just ran his best lap. There uh, you go. Blaney's top of the board. Blaney dates uh, Gianna, the Hooters. Super big Hooters Miss weekend. Hooters. Miss Hooters. Mm -hmm. So there we go. Hooters, Hooters energy is already strong in practice on this beautiful steaming hot Friday evening and mm. we got some steaming hot beds we should go ahead got and some sweat about. beads on top of your head right there too oh yeah oh yeah it's yeah. hot it's really Probably good I wear summer. hats they it captures the sweat also it makes you lose hair everybody you that older. I'm feeling okay about this feeling okay about this but get, I want you I'm to go ahead and start great. it out yeah I'll go um, ahead and start it out easy I mean we'll go ahead and make it easy the first bet that I had out this week and that I'm telling you right here right now is Chase Elliott um, I, I went ahead and took him 1.2 units I uh, believe over on, uh, I think it was DraftKings Sportsbook, got him at plus uh, 1,000. I went ahead and did it. Be a nice little 12-unit bopper if it hits. And it's not just because. I mean, it, there's a large reason of the reason I bet on him because of this car and the electricity that it puts off. It's real. It's radiating, kind of like the sun. But it's also for some other reasons that are a little bit easier uh, for, for you uh, knuckleheads out there that like statistics and Excel sheets to comprehend me so let yeah you so you'll, you'll enjoy this listen up um so when we look back at some of these tracks three tracks that i'm using this week to to kind of get a, a a glimpse into gateway since it is our first time for the cub series here there's a lot of first time drivers in the cub series at this track i'm kind of looking at a mix of phoenix martinsville and richmond uh between those three races right there uh we kind of seen how the racing goes you know, qualifying is important. Uh, having good pit time, super important. May not be as much passing as we would like to see. So a lot of these things are going to be key to making sure we get it. And, and I feel like after Chase's win in Dover, they've kind of crossed the hump. 
things are looking good. And I feel like he's got the team, he's got the car with the speed to ensure that he gets up front and stays up front to where he can be in contention. And it all is really going to come down to a lot of those moments on pit road during the stage breaks. But I feel very confident about that team. It's not just because of Hooters weekend, Dale. It's because Chase Elliott is a winner. He's a Cup Series champion. It's proven. And I can't think of a better time to bet on him than when he's rocking the Hooters racing machine. So a couple things. Kligerman has blown up in the Rick Oof. Ware car. Ben Rhodes has wrecked in A.J. Allmendinger's car. He's practicing for Allmendinger because Allmendinger is running in Portland today for, to qualify, and then he's flying over after the Xfinity ding, race ding. to double duty. Hello. Cool double duty kind of thing there for AJ, but I'm not on Elliott. I'll go ahead and say I'm not on Elliott right now. We're going to wait. I'm, I'm going to wait a bit because I feel mm. like Shame. Um, to win, they're, they're, I'll, t I'll give one bet that I like. How about this? Elliott over Truex. I feel like Martin Truex Jr. with this new race car he likes it too. has just been so inconsistent. We thought he'd be good at Charlotte. Really was a non-factor the whole race. If you look at how bad he struggled at Martinsville, uh, he was pretty good at Richmond, couldn't win. Uh, just, I really like Chase Elliott with how consistent he's been this year to beat Martin Truex. That matchup is on Barstool Sportsbook. Mm -hmm. I think you can grab Elliott minus. You've been hanging out with Martin at the Claiborne some. Yeah, yeah. Sure. No, Martin. Martin's going to be there soon, full time. He's he, right now. He's exploring. Oh, should I come now? Should I come at the end of this season, 2023? I think he's coming soon. He's I getting think his Jimmy Hamlin even soon, reiterated right? how possible that could be on the Dale Jr. download. Hell of a listen. I know we talked about it last week. Number 19, Hover Round. New so, sponsor, Martin Truex Jr. Speaking of these guys, these are guys on the Toyota Joe Gibbs Racing Camp. I'm sticking there for a guy that has helped me out a lot. I think all the money that I've won on NASCAR Cup Series betting has been because of this one guy over the past two or three weeks, and that's Christopher Bell. Mm. Christopher Bell, four consecutive top tens, three top fives in that span. You can get him for a top five on Barstool Sportsbook at plus 234. I don't imagine those odds shifting much after practice is over today. Uh, I don't know what his odds are, what his time is on the board right now. Blaney's still quickest. Uh, I, I like Team Penske this week, and Team Penske looks really fast. But Christopher Bell has been so good recently, man. He's had good speed. Charlotte came back from two laps down with like what are you guys doing? 15 laps to go. Hey. We're, hey, we're trying to do our, hey, our podcast. Oh, hi. Hey, yo, what, what's your name? Megan. Are Megan? Are be like famous? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Borderline, borderline. And what, what's your name? Hannah. My name is Hannah. Hannah. Okay. Um, so the car is out Hannah here. Montana. It's really, really hot. I'm feeling good. Uh, am I looking yeah, good? Your hair is not, not looking that good. Yeah, I do have a brush. Told you. Yeah, I would get that. Yeah. <laughs> are we about to have, have a, a brush and some water? You know, to like tame it down a little bit. So I'm please do. Okay. You guys not do okay. Touch That's fine. A little started? sprinkle. Spray. No, no, we don't. We don't. We don't get that kind of. Water treatment. would be great to drink too. Uh, it is hot out here. Uh, We're just guys. Uh, thanks. Yeah. Thanks. So wow. Christopher Bell's been top five consistently. Yeah. You ready? We're gonna do this right now. Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, I am very sorry. I'm not the best. <laughs> I was thinking of a spray. Oh, spray. <laughs> it's okay. Um, this, this is, is incredible. Yeah. Look, look, Miles Teller from Top Gun's got us all not feeling too hot about ourselves, uh, all the guys. So wow, this, this really helps good. me look better, more like Miles Teller. That'd be fantastic. Well, ASMR. But Christopher Bell, four consecutive top tens, three top fives with Joe Gibbs Racing. And this is a track that I feel like is right in his wheelhouse. Okay, yeah. Very good That's at good. Richmond, three top tens in the last four at Richmond. Very good at New Hampshire. New Hampshire's a track that is similar to what we're looking at. And he finished second in New Hampshire last year. So extra validation for C-Bell. He's a flat track master. How does it look? Looks a lot Are you impressed better. that yes. I, ice cold water just got through that? I I'm just a big stat nerd. I can it just roll through better. it. How is it? I think it looks great. Really? I think it looks Billy great. Billy Ray, I hear Billy Ray sometimes. Yeah. I, I, I like Billy Ray. <laughs> I hear Wait, that. A little bit of Morgan Wallen mix. Dale's favorite comparison. Everybody knows I hate that one. Because I don't, fun fact, I don't listen to country music. You're lying. You swear to God. God. Swear to God. VIP to Morgan Wallen in August. So. Well, tell me how it is. I don't really. I know a couple Morgan. of his songs, of his big songs. I know he's taking over the world right now, but. I don't know one song. I was forced to learn about him because I was like, <laughs> I was like, who What's is up? this guy that they're that they're that they're relating me to? So I looked him up and I was like, okay, I liked it at first, and now it's just all the time, and I'm like, dude, come on. So, I am me. I am Dale with Garage Guys. That's you're right. a, you're a Dale. He, I had this haircut before him. Let's. Uh, rec put the record straight. I had them all before Morgan. We need to, we need, yeah, we need swear, to check really. the time book on yeah, that one. Exactly. I'm here for it. Well, hey, look, we're here at Hooters. Obviously, you, you, you ladies work at Hooters. Uh, maybe we can ask a Hooters trivia question. 
Um, I have one that I can think of. Do you guys know um, what NASCAR driver in the 90s won a championship in a Hooters race car? Chase Elliott. <laughs> well, you got part of it right. He did part, win a championship. Partially has won a championship. His name was Alan Kowicki. He was, uh, they called him the, the Predator. They also uh, called him Mighty Mouse. Predator in not a bad way, like not like yeah. pedophile Predator. Not like, like a cool creepy Predator, predator yeah. like wearing like a tan jacket. Like would you prey know, on the competition in a, in a, in a, in a alley and kick somewhere. their asses. Got it, got it. Yeah. All right, so I got a, I got a, I got a trivia one if we're going to go that route. Mm -hmm. I'll make it a little easier. I'll, I, I'm a big multiple choice guy. When you're in school, you like multiple choice. Yeah, you know, you of course. Like, we're Scantrons. Yeah, exactly. You guys like Scantron? Yes, Scantron. You know you can eliminate them. Of course. We're Scantron people. All right. Which track did Chase Elliott get his first win on in 2022? Dover, Darlington, or Martinsville? That's Dover, Darlington, or Martinsville? Darlington. <sighs> What's your guess? Oh, well, I, <laughs> you, I just eliminated one. That's because, called yeah, cheating. Is he at work? Yeah. Body language. <laughs> that means I have two. All right. I'm going to go with Dover. That's correct. It's Dover. Uh, Dover. Hey, good you, guess the mate. Tell us how you knew that. We guessed him. Um, I definitely just did process of elimination. That was C. <laughs> that's that's how you do C. multiple always choice in school right there. That was yeah. A. You always go with A. You always go with A. See, I was always told to go with C, and it worked better because C it was for Chase. Oh, so, yeah. That's yeah. True. It's okay, though. Dover was a yeah. It's Dover was a I on failed this one. a lot. Yeah. Of tests. Hey, I have a college degree. Just just heads hey, up. Yeah. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like it's all worked out a little. I bit. always chose C. I should have chose A. Use it, but I have one for sure. It'll come to use one day. You That's know. it. But this is a good place. This is a good place to be. So this is about. Well, we've given out. We've given out two beds so far. You got your your head quenched. Yeah. Can we get uh. Uh, ice water with lemon in a cup. Love, love Not that water. one. That's for the hair. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's hair cool. water. Like a yeah, nice cold cup. Yeah. I'm look. I'll just I'll make it simple. I just want I want some drink. All right, I got you. All right, <laughs> I'm getting some drink. Um, all I right. think they're gonna come back with alcohol for you, and that's probably that would not work. I'll, I'll take it off your hands if that's. I would have to stare at it. Yeah. All right, so you uh, I I've, so Chris C Bell Chris, has yeah. saved my life. Also, additional bet. Bell to win the pole. The guy in three of his last four starts has qualified in the top three, multiple poles this season. As a qualifying bet, a 10 to 1, I think is what it was at. 9 to 1, great value there. So yeah. let's continue. Joe Gibbs has been killing it in that category. Uh, we, we personally, I think two weeks in a row, between the two of us, we have correctly guessed who won the poll. So might want to keep riding those. We'll have some more in the Discord. It's free. Check it out. Um, but yeah, next bet that I have, this bet is uh, definitely a gut boy special. Um, you know, we, we're on the road a lot. We take a lot of truck stop showers. Everyone knows it. It's no secret. and There's nothing to be ashamed of if you'd like to take truck stop showers. Sometimes you don't have a choice. Uh, so for two days in a row now, I have went to two different truck stops. Okay, so I, I cut down the biases, you know. Went to two different truck stops and took showers at both of them. Guess what number shower I was in Two days in a row. I don't know. You can only go like one through ten, right? Or a million. Uh, or 99. 99. 99. 99. Was not in shower number 99, though. It, it was shower number two. We were in Missouri, uh, home of Rusty Wallace, drives the number two car. Now, Austin Sindrick drives the number two car. And as you say that, he just jumped to P2 on the board. Penske is one, two, P2. three in practice right now. There, there's a lot of that's two. That's really, that's crazy. I'm not, I, <laughs> you can't see it. But I tell everyone, I've told everyone in my entire life, I, I have powers. Like Harrison on the Kid Cudi, Seven. the Kid Four. Cudi song, you know, Immortal. Like you, you tell all my friends I have powers, but nobody wanted to believe me. I'm a financial cup wizard. Uh, Austin Cendrick, I've already got the bet in on Barstool Sportsbook. Plus 6,000 to win. I put point two units on it because he's number two two showers number two for both of them rusty wallace number two also cedric number two running p2 point two units barstool sportsbook plus six thousand don't forget it i don't well i, I hate it uh, because i you know we you all, all know how i feel you about always hate him so but penske right now is fast the fords are fast because harrison burton's in the top 10 on speed right now so that tells you where the fords are Flat and i wanted to talk Ford. about the fords later Right now, I'll talk about Ross Chastain. That's the only bet I've locked in over on the Action Network. 10-1, to 1, I just feel like is insane. Got it on Barcelona Sportsbook. The guy's just been fast everywhere, and I feel like I say this every week, but he's running up front, top three, contending for wins everywhere. If you want to add extra validation, you look at Gateway. This is a 1.25-mile racetrack, similarly shaped to Darlington. Uh, races kind of like New Hampshire and Phoenix, a little bit of Richmond there. You look at Phoenix, 
top three finish for Chastain. Richmond is the one we'll cross out right here because Richmond was like his one race where he wasn't super fast. Look at New Hampshire last year when he was still with Ganassi, top 10, finished seventh at New Hampshire. So you want to add some extra validation just with the overall performance everywhere. It's out of the freaking park right now with Ross Chastain. I think 10 to 1 is wild. More validation, he won here in the truck series. I don't uh, think you need validation. If you watch NASCAR, so, you don't need validation that this is a great bet. I, I do not hate this I, it, one bit. It's going to be a popular one, I feel like, because people don't don't jump the gun on the trucks. Like, you want here in trucks, this is a totally different race car. And the the fact that we might be downshifting in one turn is, is crazy. Well, not crazy. Downshifting twice in one turn is crazy, and I've heard some chatter about it's that. Wild. We'll have to check in after this and see if that's the case in practice. But – there's a lot of elements here that are way different than trucks. So I think experience helps, but just look at how fast Trackhouse has been this year. And Ross Chastain has been able to get the finishes with two wins, multiple top three finishes, and is arguably the, the top guy to win the championship at this point. So uh, Ross Chastain, I put three-fourths of a unit on there via Barcel Sportsbook. I don't know what else to say about Ross. He's just fast everywhere. Well, yeah, I know you talked about Fords. I feel like we talked about two Chevys. You talked about a Toyota. I want to continue in the Ford camp. I want to talk about a bet that will probably be popular as well for, uh, for more reasons that, that I'm inclined to want to take the bait on, and that is taking Joey Logano outright plus 1,600 on DraftKings Sportsbook. Um, I went ahead and took this, put, uh, put about three quarters uh, on it, you know, 75 cents. A whole 75, a .75 U um, for, for, you know, stat heads. Um, so we put that on it, and that's mainly because it, he's Mr. First Time, especially this season. Wins the Bush Clash in L.A., first time. Uh, comes back around, wins the, uh, the, the pole competition, first time. Big first time guy. Uh, what, was, what else? He won at Darlington. It wasn't, that was his first time to win at Darlington. First time, a lot of first times. This is the first time Cup has raced at Gateway. I think that Joey Logano is a good fit to be in your betting portfolio for St. Louis based off of the uh, the trends that we've seen with first times. You know, I, I like that pick, and the Fords are really fast, like I've been talking about. According to practice, we'll see what averages say later. We won't have that information now, but um, Ryan Blaney to win the poll to me at 8-1 to one was a crazy value bet. So I think... When you look at how he's qualified, especially on this style of racetrack this season, uh, and the variety of racetracks where he's qualified well. Gotten a pole on a road course. I think he got the pole at Richmond, strong at Phoenix. Ryan Blaney at 8-1, to one, plus 800 to win the pole, I think is a crazy line. And if you just look at his single lap speed already, top of the board. I, I imagine that line could move a little bit, but we'll just have to see. They're going to have to appreciate, or not appreciate, they're going to have to recognize the speed of the Fords on single lap speed. I think Eric Almirola is a great sleeper bet at 20 to 1 for a bet. Oh, Bush Light? Bush Light. Well, I'm going to go ahead and be the, the guy that spoils the party. I don't drink alcohol, but it will sit here. It's okay. He's very open about it. I'm very open yeah. about it, yeah. You hurt, my, you hurt my feelings. Go away. No, I'm just kidding. No, I, uh, I have tried the Bush and A, though. It's pretty good. You should just go double. You should double time. Yeah. You should just put Which two. Which good. We're two, not driving, by the way. Uber's coming to pick us up. Yeah, it, and it wouldn't matter. It wouldn't matter. It, 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 either yeah, way, yeah. Way. What am I saying? It you wouldn't be drinking anyway. I'm the, I'm the DD I'll forever. Take, double I'll fist, do the double please. Fist. Yeah, yeah. No. that would be incredible. But no, I. Uh, so you have that bet in, and we have the Bush Light. I mean, Bush is also a huge partner of NASCAR. You can't go. What happened to my water? So did it. Well, it we turned into any yeast. water, unfortunately. You couldn't go to. Put in your hair, so God, hair water. All right, well, there's water that, in there beer. There is water, right? In beer. Is that correct? Exactly. Water so you, beer. y'all are good. Yeah, to water get, so you're good beer, to go confirmed. there. Confirmed. Hey, so, what's your favorite part of this race car, real quick? You go first. For favorite part of this paint scheme. Um, uh, my favorite part is the owl, duh. The retro owl. I was gonna say the owl too. Oh, she took it. Well, you gotta say something different. It's oh, every what? part. Find something that is just like, hey, you know, fire comes out of that. Yeah, there's fire yes, that comes the out of there. Yeah. So maybe the exhaust could be your favorite part. Yeah, the exhaust. I'm going with the exhaust. <laughs> Big <laughs> exhaust girl. Just doing whatever we say. Yeah. All the way. No, I love I, I love just the the colors of this car. It's just like what what did you earlier in the year you made the comparison to Tropic Thunder? Well, that's apparently Great they movie. were nicknaming this car Tropic Thunder. Y'all know the movie Tropic Thunder back in the day? 
No, I don't. What? Mm. Oh my God. It's get, unfortunate. Get out of here. We don't it know is. this movie. It is you unfortunate. You should watch Tropic Thunder. Tropic Thunder is great. great. But yeah, it's like, I love the shades of blue. The shades of blue that come around the owl is, is really nice. And yeah, you our did guy good. Lefty Designs Lefty. did a, yeah incredible job. So he did yeah. incredible. So you've got two. We, we were talking bets, trying to win that money. That's what we do, Garage Guys, with NASCAR. Um, you know, and like I said, obviously we're betting on Chase. You got two pole bets. So two qualifying bets that you have in what Chris Bell, Ryan Blaney. Yeah, I, so. I've talked about a lot of bets. Another bet I like is Chris. We'll go back to Christopher Bell real quick. Over Alex Bowman in a featured matchup. Bowman has really struggled recently, and I talked about the spell, the hot spell that Christopher Bell is on. Mm -hmm. And spell I think this Bell. racetrack, flat racetracks, Christopher Bell is in charge. Chris Bell is a flat racetrack king. Let's, we're going to start calling him that. You watch. C. Bell will win this race on Sunday. Can I get a boo from both of y'all because he's not betting on Chase Elliott yet? Boo. You know what? You guys are just – get out of here. You, you need to get out of here. We're all, they're, they're, yeah, all three of us. They, they think sure, they yeah. made my hair look better. It, doesn't, it's fucking, it looks a lot better. Now, you have no, it, it no feels sweat even beads. hotter. Like – just insulting. God. Like they bring you water with yeast in it. Just, damn, <laughs> terrible. Water with yeast. <laughs> yeah, we can't even get an ice cold water out here. What's going on? You don't. You don't need it. God it might mess up your hair. Almighty. What's your Should next just, bet? What? What? Where? I, don't my, even know where I got you're one at. more bet. Sure. Yeah, I've already bet. We, we've already talked about the Chase Elliott bet. I will say that the last bet that I have is a matchup that I'm rolling with, um, and I'm taking Joey Logano over Alex Bowman. Minus 105. I don't like to bet with minuses in front of my numbers. I only like to bet with pluses in front of my numbers. But, uh, yeah, I mean, who uh, like addition or subtraction, what's better? Addition. Duh. Multiplication, actually. Oh, okay. oh, if we had X's. Smart girl over here. Well, so what we do, <laughs> we'll see, the multiplication comes after we bet on the plus bets, and then it multiplies to the money. So, yeah, multiplication and addition, best, best ways to do math numbers at school. Um, so from there, yeah, I am taking that bet. Just what was it, Logano over who? I'm taking Logano over Bowman. When you look back at the three tracks that I talked about that I'm like pretty much comparing this track to, which would be Phoenix, Richmond, Martinsville, with strategies, flatness, all the goods. I'm a little wary about Martinsville because the corners are so different. Mm. These, I'm thinking more about pitch strategy. Long flat corners, nine degree angles in turn one and two, 11 degrees turn three and four. Uh, Phoenix is a really good comparison because of their angle, their turns, and then New Hampshire, I think, as well. But well, I'm going to so say I've seen people use Martinsville, but yeah. I, I'm not. For me, I'm not as high on Martinsville as I would be <laughs> Phoenix, Richmond. They're critiquing They're people just on shitting parking. On me. I, I just <laughs> not on you. They were critiquing a person on his parking skills. I oh, think. Oh, I think oh. that that was. I think that oh, I, I agree with you, right. with yeah. you ladies, by the way. But no, the main reason that I'm taking this one is just because when you look at those three tracks, there's only one of those tracks that Bowman did finish better with Logano, and that was at Richmond, and that was just a shit show of a race for Logano in general. So I'm going to stick with Logano on here. I, I'd kind of been debating about the Fords. Look, you look at Phoenix. I think Phoenix is a great comparison. They put four Fords in the top eight in that race, which was the most in the top eight, and I think also in the top ten when Chase Briscoe won. Joey's kind of struggled on the mile and a half where there's less braking, just pure speed in the race car. It hasn't been great on those tracks, but obviously one at Darlington. This track is shaped like Darlington, won't race as much like Darlington. Also had a good run at Phoenix. Struggled at Richmond. That concerns me a little bit, but it seems like they really clicked on something at Darlington that maybe could come into here at Gateway and work. So I like Joey Logano. Uh, I don't know what his odds are going to be now because the Fords have topped the board. Keep an eye on that. I like Logano probably for some top five action. I think when I looked earlier on Barstool Sportsbook, it was plus 234, same as Seabell. Looking to a top five, maybe a top three, and probably as a not an underdog to win, but somewhere in that mid-range to, to get the victory. He'll probably close yeah. at 1,200 plus 1,000, something like that. So. And look, this is only the go. tip of the iceberg for betting for this weekend. You guys know to check us out on the Action app. Uh, if you don't have the Action app, just uh, go to the Discord. It's free. Our links are there. If you need a link, hit us up. We'll let you know. Uh -huh. So, anyway, this has been a great show. I think we've talked about some good stuff pre-qualifying and pre-practice or during practice. Can I get some more water? So, yeah, yeast water yeah, for him. I don't know what you guys are talking about anyway. So. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I was going to do some I research before this, it. but I just was like, I'm going with the flow. So. <laughs> I learned. So. I agree. <laughs> you always go with the flow. It's the best way. But, uh, but yeah, so hair Thank water. You. Yeah, you, you, know know you can get a sip of water. <laughs> I'll give you some water. All right.
out with the bush light yeah. and of yeah. course yeah no stay hydrated moderation do everything Promote in moderation hydration. except bet on nascar go full on 100 percent all gas no brakes when you bet with the garage guys. all the way that's it well um i was just uh kind of taking a look over here at the right i'm pretty sure that the cast from fast and the furious just pulled up so that means family <laughs> is here so we got to get out of here but uh we'll see you later garage fam you know what to do follow me at garage guy chase Follow Dale at Dale Tanhart. Follow us collectively at Garage Guys FS. Didn't even flinch. Uh, follow the even flinch. Flinch. Follow them at Hooters. Gonna, uh, at I Hooters Racing. At Hooters. Uh, tell everybody they need to come to Hooters. You guys need to come to Hooters right now. I, just come. Wherever, wherever, wherever you are in the world. Yeah. Oh, say that again? Just Definitely come. tip us. <laughs> yeah, don't be one of those people that don't tip. Yeah. No one likes those people. Boo. Always tip Boo. your waitresses. Always. A lot. I've worked in food service before. Actually, I feel your pain. You guys did not tip us for those beers and the oh. water. We're still here. We, we didn't even left. ask for beers, and now, and now we're getting. Yeah, I know. Now I'm yeah. <laughs> yeah, going to have to pay for this. <laughs> hey, real quick. Scoot over just a minute. Let's get one look at that retro owl. Boom. Chase Elliott on track. We Everything just, about this frame yeah. is beautiful. Let's look at them eyeballs. All right. We'll see you. Bye. It's the garage guys. 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 It's it's it's. It's the garage guys. It's it's the garage guys.